Back in 1992, yes, yes. Bill Clinton promised voters they'd be getting two for the price of one if they elected him to the White House. Fast forward over two decades later, the duo was back. In Sunday night's debate, Bill Clinton's past misconduct was brought up. Take a listen. Yes, his behavior was deplorable. Have I ever once said a word about that issue? No, I have not. I'm going to debate Secretary Clinton, Governor Malley, on the issues facing the American people, not Bill Clinton's personal behavior. So is Bill a liability for Clinton? We're going to bring on political consultant Macklin Zilber to help us answer that question. Hi, Mac. Hi, Danielle. Let's get right to it. Is former President Bill Clinton a liability to Hillary Clinton's campaign for his prior misconduct? Quite the opposite. You know, every poll we've seen in recent weeks show that voters don't really care about Clinton's past misconduct. Last week, no source other than Fox News found that 55% of voters, and even more among women, thought that Bill Clinton was more respectful towards women than Donald Trump. Donald Trump has also lashed down at the Clintons uh, for Bill's past infidelities much more directly than Sanders, as we just heard in that clip. Um, Sanders really wants to focus on the issues, he says. Which strategy do you think is smarter? I think that Sanders is playing to where the polls are and where the independents are. The problem is the Republican base wants to hear their candidates go after Bill Clinton. But for over 20 years, every time that Bill Clinton's sexual misconduct gets brought up, Bill and Hillary's poll numbers go up and the Republican poll numbers go down. Sanders is in safer territory here. Is it possible for voters to see Secretary Clinton as a feminist, uh, given she stood by her husband, who has a reputation for having a zipper problem? Um, and let's not forget those rape allegations. Absolutely. I think that most voters understand that Hillary Clinton is her own woman who has her own strong track record throughout her career. If anything, voters see Hillary Clinton as a victim of Bill Clinton's past in the 90s. I don't think that many voters hold her responsible. Could Bill's past misconduct overshadow Hillary's email scandals and, and now these possible corruption investigations? Absolutely. I think that Hillary Clinton would be thrilled if this is what dominates the news cycle for the next few weeks. Republicans want the attention to be on ISIS, on other issues that they feel that they have the advantage. And to the extent that the focus is on something where the majority of the voters think that Hillary Clinton isn't responsible, it plays to her favor. So something that, you know, a wife would be mortified about, you think she's actually welcoming? I think from a political standpoint, the part of Hillary that wants to be president understands that this helps her campaign, even if on a personal level she'd rather not have these issues rehashed 20 years later. Now, we spoke earlier, you mentioned that Bill kind of serves as a surrogate. Uh, could Bill undercut the effectiveness as a surrogate for Hillary? I think that Bill's strength as a surrogate is not going to be in his public-facing strengths, though he is one of the best speakers on the stump that you'll find, but in the fact that he can save what is the most valuable resource that any campaign has, which is a candidate's time. If he's headlining multi-million dollar fundraisers and calling endorsers, it frees up Hillary to spend time talking to voters, preparing for debates, and doing the other sorts of things that candidates complain they don't have enough time to do. A political commentator Ann Coulter recently commented on Twitter that Bill Cosby should join Hillary Clinton in her 2016 White House bid. Coulter was trying to make a point by comparing the comedian to Bill Clinton. Um, both of them have been accused of sexually assaulting women. Are there any parallels there? I don't think so. Bill Cosby has been accused by dozens of women, I believe over 40. Bill Clinton has one accuser several decades ago who, in a lot of ways, does not have a very credible case, and two lesser accusers whose cases have been pretty roundly debunked. I don't think that there's much of a parallel except for their first names. So uh, what's your forecast for the Clinton duo? Hillary is going to be the favorite going into November, but this isn't going to be easy. If this becomes a knockdown, drag out fight based on Clinton's past sexual misconduct, that's territory that they're really comfortable in. I think that the way that the Republicans have to take on the Clintons is the way that Barack Obama displaced them, focusing, issue, focusing people's attention on issues rather than on the day-to-day -day scraps that the Clintons have spent their whole lives winning. Mac, it was a pleasure having you on the program. 
Macklin yes. Zilber is a Democratic political consultant at the firm Shulman Communications in Los Angeles and has also consulted on over 100 campaigns across the country. Thanks for having me on, Danielle.